Meanwhile, in Nepal, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's troubles continue to mount. And he has no one to blame but himself. The feud within his own party is out in the open and senior leaders now want him gone. Four top leaders of the ruling Nepal Communist Party want Prime Minister Oli to resign. Let me first give you their names. Pushp Kamal Dehel, better known as Prachan, the co-chair of the party and a two-time Prime Minister of Nepal. Madhav Kumar Nepal, Jhalanath Khanal and Bam Devi Gautam. These are the four leaders who've demanded the Prime Minister's resignation, who stood up to Oli at a party meeting today. It was a heated exchange, we are told. The local media of Nepal is full of these reports, and there are all the details of what happened in the meeting. One report said that many leaders, quote-unquote, came down heavily on Prime Minister Oli. He was blamed for failing to deliver as the Prime Minister of Nepal and for using diversionary tactics like blaming India to cover up his shortcomings. How apt. As the meeting progressed, Prachand asked Oli to quit. Let me give you some background here. Two years back, Prachand had merged his party with Oli's to create today's ruling party of Nepal, the Nepal Communist Party. They won the election together as one party. They were supposed to share power by rotation. But now Oli won't honor the deal. So Prachand wants him to step down. Reports say Oli tried to raise the dispute with India again. And that's when Prachand rose and said that it was not India, but him. He is the one who wants Oli to resign. Other leaders joined him. They too said that they wanted the Prime Minister to quit. Two days ago, Nepal's Prime Minister, remember, had accused India of trying to hatch a plot to bring him down. Now his own party has busted that claim. Senior leaders of his own party took strong offence to the statement that Oli made. Reports say they asked Oli to show proof behind these claims. The fight is now getting ugly and it is harming Nepal's relationship with India, perhaps beyond repair. Observers in Nepal feel that Oli's claims against India will damage the ties further. Amid the political turmoil, Nepal's foreign minister has adopted a more measured tone. Pradeep Kumar Gyawali, the foreign minister of Nepal, was attending a meeting at the National Assembly of Nepal. On the India-Nepal ties, he said, and I'm quoting, border issues should not affect the relationship. He appealed to all stakeholders to make what he called positive contributions to the bilateral ties. He should be saying this to his own Prime Minister. Clearly, K.P. Sharma Oli did not have the support of his party when he went after India. And now his relentless rant against India has only weakened his position as Prime Minister.